Hello again, it's Mike with the Claim Squad Public Adjusters. Should you give a recorded statement to the insurance company? Well, actually by way of your policy, it states that you have to cooperate, right? So, if you don't give a recorded statement, they could possibly deny your claim. But before you give a recorded statement, I definitely would seek representation from somebody. Um, I, I would seek to be represented by a public adjuster. Now, there's ways you can delay it, and um, essentially based on the type of claim, if you have an opportunity to speak with a good public adjuster, he may be able to advise you. Because you may be looking at your claim getting denied even if you give a recorded statement. That's right. They've already predetermined that they're going to deny your claim anyhow. So, um, but again, you do have a duty to cooperate. So there's a few insurance companies that normally want a recorded statement all the time. Citizens sometimes when it's roof damage claims, universal on all claims, um, sometimes FedNet. Um, I mean, there's so many insurance companies running through Fed, uh, Florida Pen. So all these companies why want recorded statements. So I have a strategy that I use when it, when it comes to clients that represent the recorded statement because I know a lot of these insurance companies are, are pretty much, depending on the type of claim, are going to deny it anyhow. So I have certain strategies that I use to get my clients around that. And it's not too difficult. But um, so essentially you have the ability to make the decision yourself. You can say things that you think is harmless and talk too much and then you've just already created the opening for them to deny it. Or if you don't give anything as far as a recorded statement, they could deny you anyhow. So you're between a rock and a hard place. But um, before you give a recorded statement, I definitely would at least talk to a public adjuster, um, a good public adjuster, or an attorney so that they can advise you on what you should do, how you should do it. Because a lot's going to be based on the insurance company type of claim. And maybe there's a way, like I would do, is em em employ certain strategies to help to minimize the opportunity to have your recorded statement taken. So um, it's not that a lot of things can go bad in a recorded statement. Um, I like to talk my clients, um, even on the few opportunities that we give the insurance company to do a recorded statement, I make sure my clients are very well prepared and um, let them know what questions to expect. And then we role play together on questions that will probably be asked and how to answer those questions. It's very important. So that's what I do. Again, you're at free will. If you're not being represented on whether or not you want to give your recorded statement, you do have an obligation underneath the policy to cooperate, okay? But there's ways, if you are represented by somebody professionally, like a public adjuster like myself, on how we can get around that. So my name's Mike with the Claim Squad Public Adjusters. If you have any questions regarding recorded statement, if you should do it, um, I would ask more about the facts around your case we could talk about that. My direct cell, 754-252-5438. Thanks for watching this video.